Hello, my name's Rick, and welcome to another Watch Gas video. Today we're going to be looking at our new SST4. It comes in a couple of different versions, so we're just going to be exploring those today, telling you the differences between the two. So, boxes are both the same, as you can see. I've just moved them out of the way. With the SST4, it comes in both the SST4 Micro and the SST4 Mini. You can see side by side, they are the same heights, maybe the SST4 Mini slightly bigger. You can observe it a little bit more if you hold them this way, where the LEL sensor is slightly raised up on the Mini, just because this is an IR sensor in the LEL. Uh, we need a bit more space in it to give the IR sensor a bit more room to sit in the unit. Now between the two, so if we look at the SST4 Micro, this comes with your standard solid state polymer sensors, that'd be either your O2, H2S or CO. Uh, you can also replace the CO with an SO2 sensor as well. And the LE sensor is a low powered catalytic sensor. This gives you up 48 hours charge for one charge, which means that you're not going back and forth, plugging this in, you want to charge it up on an eight hour day. You can plug this in, it will last you the whole week. So induction charging on the back, as we've discussed in other videos, it comes complete with a free induction charger, which you can plug in, sit the unit on top, charge, charge the unit up. Charging time is generally two to three hours, a uh, short amount of time, I'm sure you can agree. We've also put the serial number on the back of the unit, which means that they are Vanilla products, you can take the back off, it will have the serial number inside the unit, which means that you don't have to order a new serial code when you order a back casing, if the casing is broken or damaged in any way. A uh, crocodile clip comes as standard, and you can add optional extras on there, such as a rubber boot, and also a second point connectivity bar. So you can also attach the land yard. Looking at the Mini now, now the SST4 Mini comes in two slightly different versions. You either have a standard catalytic LEL sensor with all the same solid state polymer sensors that I've just discussed previously with Micro, or you can get an IR LEL sensor, your NDIR. Now with the standard catalytic LEL sensor, this will give you a 13 hour charge, it's slightly less than a low powered catalytic because it uses more battery. Um, if you were to change over there and have the IR version of the LEL sensor, this will give you up to two, uh, 200 hours worth of usage in one charge. I'm sure you can agree if you're using this over a long period of time, uh, much more ease of use. Uh, you're not going back and forth charging it on the charger when you're working on site. You can use it for a good couple of weeks without having to worry about charging the unit up. Both screens are still the same size. As you can see, they are much larger than some of the other screens that you see for different brands out there up on the market. They both have the single use button to get full access through the menu. And obviously they have full connectivity to the SST app, which can be accessed on your mobile phone devices. Well, that's our new SST4 range. As I said, the micro, the mini, low powered catalytic, standard catalytic and an IR sensor version that you can get. Now, if you're worried about trying to tell the difference between the micro standard catalytic and the IR sensor, it will be different on your code, your serial numbers on the back. Uh, your part number for the standard catalytic will be a mini X2, and then the various numbers after that. For the IR version of the LEL, it will be a mini X3. This way you can just scan through quickly, see which version that you want if you were to sell out stock. And there we have both the SST4 Mini. Mini's there, Micro. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye. 